Don't say hi to Avalon. Hey, Abby. Hi. 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 you're up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <we're not. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> Ella Daly is uh, her family is in Europe this we'll week and here. next week. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now just a quick one. If I wanted to make a solution that contained these ions, what would I put in that solution? Go in the back here and get a compound. Which compound would I get that would dissolve and give me this, these ions in solution? Would I get a bottle that said this on it? Sure. No. Give you a hint. If I wanted chloride ions in solution, what could I use to dissolve and get chloride ions? Sodium chloride? Or I could use potassium chloride? Or I could use iron 3 chloride? I would use some ionic compound that contained chloride ions, wouldn't I? If I want to produce these ions in solution, then I might get this compound. Disodium phosphate, it's sometimes it's called. Are we okay? Because when this dissolves in water, it separates to form sodium ions, which in this case we don't care about, and this ion, which we do care about. Yeah? Oh, well, because you said it's called disodium phosphate, but what, since it's an ionic compound, not that it's important anyway. Never mind. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> In number seven, A would be spontaneous, but B and C would not be. Oh. Now, my problem, sir? it's important to make sure that you understand why. In A, what are the two bases that are competing for the hydrogen ion? In A, the two bases that are competing for the hydrogen ion, they are CH3COO minus and SO3 negative 2, right? And which one is the hydrogen attached to to start with? Yeah? So when we want to talk about whether this acid base reaction is going to be spontaneous or not, we want to focus on the strength of the two bases. And according to the table, which is the stronger base? SO3 negative 2? Yeah? And so the SO3 negative 2, the stronger base, should be able to take the hydrogen ion away from the weaker base. Get it? Let's look at the next one. What are the two bases that are competing? HPO4 negative 2 and HS minus. And folks, take a look. Couldn't either of those act as a base? Couldn't, excuse me, of the two, the two reactants, I'm not being clear. The two reactants, H2PO4 minus and HS minus, couldn't either of those act as a base? Couldn't either of those act as an acid? Aren't both of those amphoteric? Yes. So, for instance, if I were to give you this reaction, it would be a much harder thing to figure out what would actually happen, what the products would actually be. But I've given you the products, haven't I? So you know which one's acting as an acid and which one's acting as a base, right? Yeah. You can tell by looking at the products that the H2PO4- is acting as the acid in this reaction and the HS- is acting as a base. If you didn't understand that, you'd ask, wouldn't you? Okay. Okay. So these are the two bases that are competing. Now we want to... Okay, which one is the hydrogen ion attached to? Both. This one? H. Okay. You're right. Hydrogen ions are attached to both, but this is not the hydrogen ion that's going to get transferred. Nor is it this one, huh? It's the one that's attached to this ion. 
that's going to get transferred if this reaction is going to be spontaneous. So, we focus on the bases. Which of these two bases is the strongest? That one is, huh? And if the stronger base has the hydrogen ion to start with, we don't expect the weaker base to be able to take it away very often. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And finally, in C, what are the two bases that are competing? And H3. And again, to be able to tell this, are you also looking at the right-hand side to see who has gained and who has lost? The NH3 molecule in this reaction, if it, if it, if it produces products, uh, it gains a hydrogen ion, so it's acting as a base. And the HCO3- minus is acting as an acid, so it's losing a hydrogen ion. So the base that the hydrogen ion is connected to is the carbonate ion. Huh? So those are the two things acting as bases. And the hydrogen ion is attached to this one, right? So again, we look at the two bases and compare their strength. Which one is the stronger base? CO3 minus 2, huh? You can see how this can be confusing because if you look at HCO3 minus 2, which can also act as a base, that would lead you to believe that this is the stronger base. Huh? But it's not. Not of the two bases that are actually competing for the hydrogen ion. Imagine the tug of war when you see these things. Picture me and Letitia fighting over the pencil. The pencil is the hydrogen ion, right? Since the stronger base has the hydrogen ion to start with, the weaker base is not going to be able to take it away, right? Very often. Okay? Questions about any of the first eight? Good. Next step is to be able to write a spontaneous acid-base reaction if I give you the two bases. I don't have one. The two those. bases are nitrite and acetate. Do you have an iron chart? Okay, no matter, I have one of those. Nitrite and acetate. Those are the two bases. Using those two bases, write a spontaneous acid-base reaction. Now, first of all, looking at those two bases, and did you come to the conclusion that acetate is CH3COO minus and nitrite is NO2 minus? Okay, your iron chart would help you with that. Your goal then is to figure out which is the stronger base. Which is the stronger base? Acetate. Acetate. And therefore, who should start with the hydrogen ion then? If our goal is to have hydrogen ions be transferred. Nitrate. If this is the weaker base, then we want the hydrogen ion to start there and let the stronger base take it away, right? And if that happens, what will result? <laughs>